Yo, this is a no spoilers review of Insidious, the last key. Yes, please, no more goddamn keys. We have all the keys we could ever need. This is the fourth and I guess the last installment of the Insidious franchise. You'll never know. It's an origin story about Elise, once again portrayed by Lynn Shay and written by Lee Winnell and produced by Lee Winnell and James Wan. And I want to say this up front, I don't think this movie is anything spectacular. I think it's okay for fans who are invested in the story and the characters. Well, Elise, it's not exactly for people who are looking for scares and the horror and the nostalgic classic horror that many of us felt from the first Insidious. No, you're not going to get that here, but you do get a story. And some people have remained interested and invested in that story. But if you don't give a shit about Elise or her story, then you're not going to like this at all. Because what we get here is a glimpse of a very young Elise and she's just living a life very similar to that kid in the sixth sense where ghosts just kind of fuck with you, you know, because I don't know, I guess they ain't got shit else to do. So I'll just start out with that's what is most important about this movie, Elise. I've always loved her character. I think it's very strong and I love Lynn Shea as Elise. She's 74 years old, by the way. And um, she's always been a fan favorite. I remember when I went to see Insidious 2 in the movie theaters and people were like cheering when she came on the screen. So from the beginning, Lynn Shea was a great choice for this role. And she is, you know, pretty awesome, uh, regardless of how good or bad the script is in Insidious 3. Um, she's just a great actress. And Elise has been very crucial to the furthering, no pun intended, um, of this franchise. And I think she's pretty badass when you think about it. She fights demons. So the next thing I like about it is simple. We get a pretty solid backstory here, um, which throws a couple of curveballs at you, which made it slightly better than I was expecting. Um, there wasn't much fear factor. I was I was turned off by some of the jump scares, and this is kind of what I didn't like about it. And, um, you know, just some of the same old scare tactics. It, it's not exactly the scariest thing I've ever seen. But like I said, it's very story and character focused. So that's what you're, you're getting here. And um, that's probably why it's received better by um, fans than critics. Um, also, what I didn't like about it, I needed her sidekicks to stop trying to be funny because they're not. And their humor, you know, it's really a dry type of humor that was really funny in Insidious 1 and 2, but it's not so much anymore. As far as the demon, the villain, I guess, I just don't know what the fuck his problem is. He just captures souls and he has key fingers. And I read that his name is Keyface. I, I, don't, I, I don't have a problem with him just his M.O., you know, with locking up souls or whatever he was doing. And there's another storyline in there, you know, relating to him that I actually did like. Um, but the further is just so fucking cheesy to me. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I never did, but that's another story. So basically everything else was just the middle of the road. There, you know, there was some serious WTF moments, but mostly everything was just okay. You know, the music, the supporting characters, the, the directing, it was all just okay. Um, and last but not least, there were quite a few trailer scenes that were missing. So wrapping up here, um, I'm cool with them wrapping up this franchise with this movie. Thank you, Elise, uh, Lynn Shay, you've been great. That's a not so subtle hint just in case they want to do Insidious 5, the last key for real this time. No, don't do that. I think in terms of backstory, we have everything we need. Thank you. I appreciate how well this tied in with previous Insidious movies. But it's time to give it a rest. I give it a 5 out of 10. It's just not really worth the movie theater. Yeah, I know it came out last week, but whatever. Just, you know, wait for Redbox or Netflix, hell, whatever. Um, and just follow me on Twitter at MovieBuffChick1 and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.